Hello and welcome to another vlog, this time Heroes of the Storm, the release was yesterday, I watched it, it was very cool, there are new stuff for Heroes of the Storm and I want to go and cover it because uh, yeah, the press release was pretty cool last night, there's some good things that they showed but there was some weird and funny stuff as well, mainly with the cosplayers. Let's get on to the main event, which was the Johanna character. We all know that she was coming out, looks very interesting, very well designed, but they have started to show off her moves now, and it seems that she's there to combat Diablo. It's going to be very difficult to play as Diablo because she can't be stunned, she can't be slowed, I'm not sure if any of the grab moves or the knockback moves are going to work on her. She's got her own slow moves. She's got herself her own wombo and she's got herself a false dad jump ability. She's also got further along the line a very tanky ability which gives her shields if she's near death. Which makes her possibly invincible. So it's going to be really interesting to see if she's overpowered when she starts or if she's very balanced. We'll see tomorrow because the release is actually tomorrow. Or today even. I had to quickly check my clock there because I don't know what time it is ever. We also got a new mount if you sign up to the uh, Nexus Calling Thingy Bob. I will link that in the description. It's a Facebook app that... If you do it, you add your friends and things like that, whatever you do in Facebook apps. I don't use Facebook anymore, but it was decent to get the spider clockwork mount that I've got on screen now, maybe? I'm not sure. Also, we've got new skins for Nova, Tychus, and for Reyna. When they showed that wall, I was taking the piss because it just seemed like they were showing off a fancy animation, but it seems to actually be talking about the new maps that are coming. One of them being a Diablo map. They showed Teriel and Diablo a lot on that, so people think that's either going to be a Diablo map or it's going to be a Fire and Ice map, which is going to be quite interesting if it is. We also saw the Yogg's cast there covering it live. Uh, did anyone else see how Terps were just taking so much piss when he was talking? It was fucking amazing. <laughs> Also feel really bad for the cosplayers that couldn't speak English properly. That was a bit awkward, but the guy dealt with it fairly quickly. <laughs> and it was it was alright. The cosplay was pretty good. We also got two musicians, Dan Bull and Madian. People seem to have not liked it, but I think that wasn't their genre of music to listen to. It was quite nice. I did like the Dan Bull song about heroes. It was actually very, very well done. Also, Madian being there, why would you complain about having a free concert from someone that's actually that good? You can just turn off the stream. But it seems to have taken quite a bit of the runtime up, so maybe the Madian set should have been slightly shorter because it seemed to have been half the thing. I'd really like to know what everyone's thoughts are on this. And if I've missed something, please tell me, I will do a video on it, and there'll be definitely a video once it's launched. Other than that, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and share if you could. I've been Scuba Knight, and you've been fantastic.